It's Friday, Friday, and you know I'm getting down. Because I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Oh, uh, should I make a Super Bowl reference? Uh, go team. First up, Kraken has reached a speedy settlement with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and it will pay a $30 million penalty. The exchange was charged with failing to register its staking-as-a-service program, which allowed customers to earn up to 21% in interest from their crypto. As a result of the settlement, Kraken has agreed to immediately terminate this service. According to the SEC, staking means consumers lose control of tokens and take on risks associated with those platforms with very little protection. Esther Pearson, SEC commissioner known as Crypto Mom, says that she disagrees with the decision. She's argued that Kraken service has served people well and claimed the regulator had been lazy and paternalistic. You tell them, mama. Rihanna and Linkin Park have become the latest musical talents to explore what non-fungible tokens can offer. Ahead of a long-awaited halftime show at the Super Bowl, Rihanna released 300 NFTs for $210 a pop. Each collectible grants 0.0033% of the streaming royalties to her 2015 hit, Bitch Better Have My Money. Well, the NFTs sold out within minutes. Meanwhile, Linkin Park has rediscovered an unreleased song from their 2003 Meteora album called Lost, and they released a brand new music video for it. In in a rather delightful twist, it's been directed by People Pleaser, a well-known digital artist and NFT creator. Probably no coincidence then that singer Mike Shinoda has long been a fan of what Web3 has to offer. And finally, Local Bitcoins has announced that it's closing up shop after more than 10 years in business. A statement said the business has been unable to survive the very cold crypto winter, meaning its trading service will soon be terminated. The platform had been established to bring Bitcoin everywhere and drive global financial inclusion, becoming a vital tool in emerging economies during its heyday, but it has also become a prime destination for crypto stolen through hacks and scams, and back in 2019, CypherTrace said that 12% of the Bitcoin that local Bitcoins received had criminal ties. Customers are now being urged to withdraw any Bitcoin left in their accounts, and they'll have 12 months to complete those transactions. Alright, I guess I'll go back to the Super Bowl for my outro spiel. If you're looking for a home run, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. What? Wait, the Super Bowl's for football? Oh, here's an easy one. Well, your goal should be to leave a comment below about your thoughts on today's show, because I read them, and I take criticism way too seriously. Wait, it's not that football? <sighs> Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Ask Alex by touching down that link in the description below. Alex is a great resource for all things Web3 and the Metaverse, and that about does it for today. Oh, touchdown is the right one. Oh, I got it. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. See you Monday.